Morena Koto Katoa. Uh, I number two. Yep, six number two. And so, firstly, just a couple of comments from uh, six number one, which was really interesting. Um, yep, some people noted that I was a bit nervous, and that's because uh, my viewership is uh, a range of ages, including primary school kids, so I was being very careful. But it's important we talk about this stuff. You know, um, my boy um, talked about uh, sex as a special love where you go, pow, pow, pow. And um, the context that, that was shared in was, um, we were talking about the word sarcasm. And so, uh, yeah, it was quite funny. And we got massive responses. I got massive responses on my personal page. Um, but it's important we talk about these things to our babies so that they understand. Um, but today's kaupapa number two is around sex as the remover of tapu. There's a few different things ca that can remove tapu. So one is karakia, uh, so prayers and incantations. Two is water, and those two are the most common. Number three is um, food, cooked food. And so the process to move food from its natural state to a new state uh, for consumption. And that's another means to uh, remove tapu, which is why we have a hakari or a feast after a funeral. It's why we eat after um, the welcome ceremony, the pōwhiri. And then number four is sex. Because what sex does is it removes all tension. <laughs> Uh, but also uh, it nullifies and brings you back to ground. Uh, and so, you know, there's a heap of talk these days about grounding and our sex also grounds. And so uh, it's a traditional uh, act that should be performed after um, doing any tapu business. And there, there, were, there were talks about the head being tapu and um, that oral, and questions around oral sex. Well, um, you just need to read all of our hakas and waiata um, to see the answers to that. Um, because, yep, our tupuna made sure that you enjoyed it. And I remember all of the nannies saying all of the comments on the marae and even um, even later life, I've realised, I've heard, you know, when different women go out to kopi kopi, especially out at Ratana, um, you know, they'll come out and they'll start to kopi kopi and they'll go, kai rano takai, kai rano takai, uh, meaning that the food's down below, the food's down below. And the reason why sex is a removal of tapu, because sex is seen as a form of food. Um, all of the reference, or many of the references in the waiata, it refers to it as kai. And um, I'll talk more about um, that later on because uh, I think in my next, yeah, in my next kaupapa, I'll talk about how different words from waiata are referenced uh, and they also refer to them as kai. So kātiake, uh, let's talk about sex, is um, quite a popular subject. So kātiake, e mihi ana kia koutou. Ei kōrero waka mutunga māku, uh, e tata oti ana uh, te wā o Māuru Māori Nō rera te tēnei, tonu, tēnei au e me i tonu atu ana Ki te unga e āpai ana i te kakau o tēnei waka Āpai ake ana i te kakau o te oe o tēnei waka o Māuru Māori Kia kaa rā koutou, kia kaa rā tātou, kia ora katoa